EPA's reference dose was 0.5 micrograms per cubic meter. Okay. Mark's reference dose, as published in May of 2009, was 0.06, so it's some five times lower than the EPA reference dose. So how did that happen? Mark came to the, conclu the correct conclusion, I would argue, that the use of FAR was improvident, and, and for obvious reasons. FAR is a paper, it was a, a, an industrial exposure paper that looked at an adverse reaction caused by a particular level of mercury in the air. The problem is the workers in that factory were exposed to both mercury and chlorine gas. Chlorine gas inhibits the absorption of mercury and changes the pharmacokinetics of mercury in the body. So it takes a higher amount of mercury to cause the same adverse effect. The adverse effect they were looking for was tremor, intention tremor. So it, I hope we can agree that using an, uh, mercury, we were using mercury, but it was really uh, a combination of mercury and chlorine that was, to which these workers are being exposed. If that inhibits the absorption of mercury, it's going to take more mercury to induce the onset of tremor. Okay. So we, we, ideally, we'd like to have a paper that's just looking at exposure to mercury vapor. And Mark claims he found that paper. He chose a paper by an author named Nagim. I think he's a Japanese uh, investigator, uh, NGIM, and I may be mispronouncing it, but that's how it's spelled. And it is, a, a, again, an industrial paper and it's taken from an industrial setting where workers are being exposed to just mercury vapor. And again, the adverse effect they were looking for was tremor. And, okay, let's do the same math. Let's apply the same ventilation rates. Let's apply the same absorption rate over the lung and see if we end up in the same spot mathematically. And the fact is we didn't. Mark uh, actually concluded after applying uh, the ordinary uncertainty factors and doing the other things you have to do to drive these reference doses that the reference dose ought to be 0.06 micrograms per cubic meter, again, a concentration in air.